as a Commonwealth attorney, I'm doing my job because the sheriff and I can't arrest and prosecute crime away. The way to deal with crime is to improve education. The statistics bear this out. You don't see too many high school graduates that are convicted felons. 69% of the prison population is non-high school grads of the remaining 31%. Most of those got their GED when they're in jail the first time. So the beautiful thing about this Habitat project is we're partnering with the schools and we have Dr. Sarah Calveric over here. Uh, she's an enthusiastic supporter. I see a couple of our other school board members out here today, uh, Mr. Copeland, Ms. Carson. So it, it's wonderful. And students are going to be framing up walls at the school and then we're gonna get them over to the job sites and they're gonna help erect the walls. Um, so some real hands-on, what's that word you use, experiential learning? Yes, sir. And, and Dr. Kalbarek has developed a program that she calls three E's, enroll, enlist, or employment. And that's the goal for each Caroline High School graduate. So Habitat's pretty happy to be a part of that. Lo local government. This is what it's all about, and this is what it's supposed to be like, okay? Where we're reaching into communities just like this one, and we're, we're building houses, we're building stability. This is what it's supposed to be, okay? So I, I can't commend all the layers of government that made this happen. Jason, when you came to us, we would be fools not to write a check the next day, okay? Um, the proposal was was any, everything we could ask for. We hadn't built any habitat, any official habitat for humanity houses in this community in over 12 years. Okay, and we're gonna be breaking ground on five soon. And, and more, hopefully, this is, a, this is the first few of a, of a long line to come. It gets the community more involved, it gets us tighter. It, it's just a, it, it's a, it's a beacon of light for this, for this community and for this county and for that, but we, we thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. But what makes this special, folks, is everybody that you see here today. You see local governing officials. You see uh, Delegate Fowler here from the state legislature. You see the families here. They're going to be part of that. You see folks across the community. You see the school system that's committed to be part of this. There isn't a person here across this community that doesn't say, I want to be part of this. That's what makes today extraordinarily special. It what makes us who we are. You know, communities are exactly about this. And today we hear lots of negative things. These are the things that ought to be in the headlines in the newspapers. These are the good things that are happening. These are the things that bring people together. These are the things that we know we are making a difference in people's lives. This is critical, folks. You know, these are the basic needs, the basic needs of food, water, shelter. Habitat for Humanity is taking care of the shelter part of that and making sure that folks have that. This builds communities. As these new homes are in here, there'll be new neighbors, there'll be new relationships, there'll be new positive impacts on the community. All of this economic impact is one thing, but I can tell you it's, it's the social impact that's important. It's what people see can happen in a community. It gives people that joy in their heart. It opens up their minds to say, these are the things that are possible. You know, when you look at it and go, well, uh, these things can't be done. Yes, they can be done. They can be done when everybody comes together. When everybody does a little part of this, it's amazing, amazing what will happen.